Last week we saw the Tomb Kings of Khemri and the Chaos Dwarfs clash in the lands of the Border Princes. A brutal battle that saw two skirmish forces ultimately fight to the end. The Chaos Dwarf force were victorious due to the Tomb King Hierophant being burnt to ash and thus the army dispersing. Elsewhere, near the borders of Bretonia in the Grey Mountains, a small dwarf force transporting various heirlooms between Carax was met in battle by a ambushing force of Beastmen. This is the battle that will be fought today. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan. And my name is Walter. And, um, you guess what I'm playing today? <laughs> so yeah, we're back with another battle report. Uh, Beastmen versus Dwarves. Yes. So two brand new armies on the channel. Uh, we got a lot to showcase. I'm quite happy with this army. Um, there's a little bit of construction going on, just to let you guys know. Uh, the studio is actually getting bigger. We'll do a little bit of a flyby in a second. But yeah, it's going to be fun. I think it's... Definitely. Yeah. I, I'm wearing my sheep clothing today just as a bit of a fear tactic for the Beastman. You know, I just want to razzle-dazzle. <laughs> but, good. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's, he's being cringe today. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, shall we check out the armies? Let's do it. Before we showcase the armies, so the wall that was behind here has been taken off. And uh, there's some storage units coming in. The table's actually gotten taller. Uh, because there's more storage coming through here too, where the armies are going to be from now on. This slowly is going to turn into a proper war room with this cabinet being removed. It's a work in progress. We basically started this day after the last battle report started. Right after, yeah. It was... <sighs> but um, yeah, it's going to be quite exciting. Definitely. And coming in here with the Beastman, I'm coming in with a Cowlist. So a Doombull, a Gorbull, two units of six Minotaurs with additional hand weapons, a unit of Gores, because you have to. Um, yeah, a little bit of everything. I've tried to make it as much of my cow units as possible. I'm really happy about them. They've been he here is, for a while. He's a very big model, and he's very nicely painted as well. Yeah, it's quite uh, a he's nice like, one. He's like knight-sized, isn't he? Yeah, he's pretty tall. I mean, he's the same model as that. It's just uh, different, no doubt. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, quite happy about this. We've got Malagor here, who's going to be my BSB today, because I can't find my normal BSB. The Beastmen Brayhoods, led by myself, has the following loadout. The first is a Doom Ball with additional hand weapons, and with the following magical items. The Blackened Plate, Rune of the True Beast, and finally the Horn of the First Beast. When it comes to Chaos Mutations, I've got the Pelt of Midnight, and finally the Gnarled Hide. Next, I've got a Gorbal with additional hand weapons, he's got heavy armor and slug skin, and finally a War Gore, who is a battle standard bearer with a totem of rust. For my core units, I have the following. A unit of 5 Chaos Warhounds, a unit of 20 Gores with full command, these ones have shields and hand weapons, and finally a unit of 6 Minotaurs. These can be taken as core choice for one unit. This is because my general is a Doom Ball. These have additional hand weapons and have full command. Moving on to special now, we have a unit of Minotaurs once again, six, with additional hand weapons of full command, a Gorgon, and finally in rare we have a Saigor. The purpose of this list was just to kind of meme with as many Minotaurs as literally possible. And we're coming in with 2,000 points of Dwarfs, which for some reason this doesn't want to stay still. But yeah, uh, I'm still learning on writing Dwarf lists. Honestly, I think it's alright. 20 Warriors, 20 Hammers, 20 Longbeards. Uh, two units of 10 Thunderers, a unit of Iron Drakes, which I believe you requested specifically. Especially requests from me, because they are my favorite unit, unit in Warhammer 3. I've got just very fond memories with those with a good friend, and I just love burning goblins. It's just, yes. Yeah, that sounds good. A cannon over there, because I mean, it's a dwarf army. Uh, obviously, a gyro bomber, because yes. Th there's not going to be a meme list. I know people have been seeing that 23 gyrocopter, gyro bomber meme list, but. I requested it, Nathan said no. I don't think I even have enough gyrocopters and bombers to do that, though. <laughs> and we do have a king being Felagar's uh, model. We've got the Forge Wall banner over here, which I'm quite happy about. And then lastly, a engineer who is the old Grim Burleson model. The dwarfs led by Walter has the following loadout. A king with a full plate of armor, shield, 
He has a Oaf Stone and a Master Rune of Smiting. A Thane, who has a full plate of armor, a shield, is a Battle Standard Bearer with the Master Rune of Stromni Redbeard, and finally an Engineer with heavy armor and a handgun. When we go to core, we have the following loadout. 20 Dwarf Warriors, full command, they've got shields, they've got drilled, and the Veteran Special Rule, and with the banner they've got the Stolar's Rune. And finally, two units of 10 Thunderers with full command. When we go into special, we have a Cannon with the Rune of Forging, a unit of 20 Longbeards with full command, and also with the Drilled Special Rule, they've also been upgraded to have shields too, and finally, a unit of 20 Hammerers, with full command. When we go into rare, we have a gyro bomber. This has been upgraded to have a clatter gun. And then the last is a unit of 10 iron drakes, once again with full command. A little disclaimer here both these armies are the first time that myself and Walter are playing them, so yes, it's a bit of a teething thing, but overall, I think that we had quite a bit of fun. All right, so we deployed over here. We've got the beastmen in a nice tight formation. I'm going pretty much straight forward. Uh, a unit of warhounds over there because I had to. In the, like because of the uh, core restriction, you know, I had to get 500 points. Uh, we've got a nice spread over here for the dwarves, actually. Yes, uh, castling up, doing the good stuff. I'm not going to be on my hands and knees this whole game. Yeah, but I, I won't be in my chair a bit, so I'm embracing dwarf tradition. You know, but it should be fun. We rolled off. I got a six. I got a one. Yeah. So these men are going to go first, and. Yeah, I'll see you all very soon. All right, so there's really not much I can do over here. Um, and this keeps moving, I'm not too sure why. But yeah, Gaze of the Gods, two. So my Doom Bull now has plus one initiative, which doesn't really help because I'm going to be striking first anyway. OK, so we've moved up. And it's going to be a very short turn for turn one, Beastman. I am pretty far off. I very much doubt that he's going to move. No. So. Um, it's just going to be trudging along. Here, bully, 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 come to me. But uh, yeah, that's all I can really do. All right, so a uh, little retraction here. I've decided to move back and actually not move the cycle so I can actually use him because I only just realized he's got weapon skill too. And to be fair, I need to do something this turn. At least try to hurt. He's run up, seen all my dwarves and gone, nah, no, 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 no. But we do have like, all this stuff moving, I just need to be able to do something. Yeah. So I'm going to use the Saigor down here. So at least I'll do something, hopefully. Hit. Yep. Cool. Yay. OK, so it's nine attacks. Uh, one of them is a two up because strength eight. Yep, two on the dot. Uh, so please take a single wound, please. All right, so we just have to check. I do have some AP damage there. He loses a wound, and then I've got eight attacks coming in with strength four versus your toughness of? Toughness of four. What? Oh. Four? Yeah, four. All right, so four saves at a minus one. Yep, yeah, four dead. There goes Steve. There goes Juan Carlos. There goes Patrick. And there goes Tiny Nathan. So that's five gone. You add one extra unit in there thanks to your character, so you haven't lost 25% of your unit just yet. Um, now we're going to move on to Dwarf turn two. Because turn one. Turn one, sorry. I, I, I don't generally do that much damage in one turn. Like, <laughs> it's, it's weird. That usually takes me three turns. Mm. Turn one for the dwarves, only a little bit of movement, which is literally just moving the uh, gyro bomb a little bit down. Really can't do too much. If he moved a bit too much, he'd be, yeah. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. They're castling. This is an old tactic that the dwarves always done. So, so we've got the iron drakes who just about reach here and they will be hitting on fours because only minus one. Ooh. And now uh, you've got strength four. Uh, strength on this is strength five. Strength five, toughness three. Ouch. I'm going to have to go back to check. I think it was twos. Yep, twos. Ooh. Any minuses? Uh, I'm a vein two. I'm a vein two. Well, it's going to come into effect here, and it'll be just minus one. Minus one. Okay. Yep. 
All right, so that means two dead, which, ouch, and give me two dice on leadership check. Well, that's fleeing. Uh, yeah. So, and then Swift Stride, 11 inches. Well, it's not going well for the Beastmen at the beginning, but then again, they are Warhounds. They aren't really, um, they're there to be like, just to pass the core restriction, and then you're done. So... Moral support? Yeah, moral support. Let's go into more shooting. Oh, yes. All right, so cannon time going into the cycle. So we've got the dice going into the cycle. This is artillery. No, nope, failed. No, two. Yeah, two. Yeah, but did you pick the point? Oh, literally the face of the cycle is face. Does it say that you can pick the model? Let's just pick a point. It can be anywhere. Anywhere underneath the line would hit. Okay. So but it just doesn't bounce over because it just takes it in the face and it stops it dead. All right. So strength. Strength eight. Two's to wound. Two ups. Oh, nice. armor bane as well. Well, this I don't think this is actually wearing armor. No, it wears light armor. Okay. How much damage does it do? Uh, D3. Okay. Roll a D3. Two, uh, down to four. Mm. We have the Thunderers coming into the Saigor, hitting on fives. Okay, and your strength? My strength on the Thunderers is... Strength four. Top and six. Six. Roll in. Four to six is sixes. Okay, oh. six is the wound. I should have read that table beforehand. Oh. No wounds. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, same thing here, but into into the into the these bolts here. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So five again, shots. fives. Yeah. Yep. Lovely. That's bad. And I'm going to use the engineer to reroll one of them because it's a one. Yeah. It's yeah. a one. I get to reroll it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got okay. so excited for that. Strength four, toughness four. Bang. Two go through. Two. And armor bane. Armor bane one, my friend. I should know what I'm on about. Yeah, armor bane one. Okay. Okay, two wounds. So this lad over here is down to one. And that's it. That's my turn. Okay. We're going to move into Beastman turn two. This is going to be the quickest battle call ever. Result? No, I, it's, it's not because of that. It's because, well, I'm going to move. I can't do anything. You're, you're going to stay still because you're a coward. All right, Beastman turn two before anything. Leadership check on the um, dogs. Uh, seven. I think they're back. No, they're running. Yep. I'm just going to let them run. Yeah, okay, 11. They're gone. Woohoo! I really First can't blood. be bothered. <laughs> First blood. Gaze of the gods once again, because that always always useful. Three. For plus one extra toughness. So we are gonna need that. Alright, so the movement was pretty much here. Next turn I'll be coming in. Um there's not much I can do, but we're gonna try and do a little bit of shooty shoot with once again our big beastie up there, who is going to try hit there. He's actually getting nine in. Oh, come on! Wow, that's really lucky. Okay, so I've got a bunch of attacks coming in. I'm going to do the one here, which is a two-up. Yep, one's dead because minus three. Yep. And then we've got a bunch coming in here with strength four, toughness four, so fours. Uh, which is, ooh, wow. One, two. That is five minus ones, good sir. Ooh, that's not good. Oh. Five minus ones. Only three die? Yeah, still damage. That is uh, moving on to Dwarf turn two for shooting now. Um, Artillery yeah. dies. He's going with cannon. Great success. That's a misfire. I get to reroll of that. Yeah, you've got a single use. Yes. Great success. Okay, so uh, two ups to wounds. Great success. Oh, that's armor vein as well. It's got no armor anyway. C3. <laughs> Just let me have it. Two. Down to two. 
I mean, look, it's wearing a loincloth, right? Like, it's it's not really. Uh, what happens if he gets shot? The cannibal just lands like in the in the private area. Well, it's been a while since we had a microphone issue, but for some reason during the shooting phase, the microphones decided to turn off, despite the fact that they were still blinking green. So as far as we knew, yeah, they were still working. But yeah, we have some shooting here with the Thunderers not getting a single wound. That's perfectly fine. Unfortunately, Walter's shooting phase wasn't too great because the second group of Thunderers did not get a single wound off. This happens. This is the thing about a RNG-based game, obviously, the dice roll decides whether you're going to get in or not. Overall, it works out for me because the less wounds that I take before I get into combat, the more damage I could potentially do if I don't lose a bunch of my Minotaurs. And this is the last clip which had no audio, which was the Iron Drake shooting into the Minotaurs once again. Uh, this time, doing a lot better. Obviously, at this point, it's important to note that he had reformed prior in the movement phase, which means that he has a lot more shots going out, because how shooting works right now, you don't get both ranks firing. Which is still something to get used to. That means that in future lists, I might make the Thunderers have bigger lines rather than just two squads of ten. However, Minotaur was killed off, so some damage was done there, and uh, yeah, we're going to start moving on to the rest. All right, we're going to be moving on to Beastmen Turn 3. There's really not a lot that I can do. Um, I'm going to try and get closer. I have to do some uh, restraint tests, though. But before anything, I have to do the Gaze of the Dark Gods. Two. One modifier to my initiative. So that goes here. And here I'm testing to restrain. So first up on the cycle. Cool. Balls. Cool. They can't actually reach. So that's fine. And these guys. Cool. Yeah. So I'm going to move in, get a little closer, get ready to give you some hugs and kisses. Yeah. And we'll go from there. And that's it for moving. There's not really a lot I can do. Uh, next turn I can charge. So. Onto shooting. Yeah, onto shooting. And going in for shooting with the Saigo. Uh, can I have a scatter dice, please? Uh, yes, you may. Here you go, good sir. And yeah, I'm just going to try and hit them. He takes a wound. That's fine. Down to one. All right, so movement for dwarfs is literally just blocking my Gorgon over there, which I guess is pretty smart. And yeah, on to shoot. That's it, really. Uh, there's not much. You're just holding as much as you can. Um, yeah, go Get on into the cycle. The yeah. cycle. Right. What was it to hit again? This? Uh, you need artillery dice. Artillery dice. Oh, yes. This is the artillery dice. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Two up. Yes. Yeah, it's dead. It's a single wound. Well, it's a D3, but like, yeah, one wound left. Um, yeah. Okay. So we're going into shooting with the Iron Drakes, the champion hitting on freeze. And uh, wounding all. No, no, we'll do the wound after this. Oh, okay, yeah, makes sense. It's the same. And these guys are hitting on fours. That's pretty good. Ooh, lovely. Oh. And that was strength four, right? Yes. Toughness four, so fours. Oh, no, it's just strength five. Strength five, so threes. Yes, threes. <laughs> yeah, we don't count drop dice here. Yay, many. Okay. And that was. No armor bane, so it's AP minus one. AP minus one, okay. So this guy was on two wounds, so he's gone. And this guy's gone too, so that's free. That's five wounds. Yes. Cool. And now these guys shooting into these guys, uh, threes and fours. For that? Yeah. There, he fails. No, he gets a reroll. Okay. Yeah. That's a hit. Cool. And now here's our fours. Yeah. Wah, wah. And strength four, toughness four, fours. Both go through. Both go through. So these guys are down. This guy's down to one. That marker is actually for the buff for him. But I just don't want to put it there because then it makes it look a bit. Here you go, good sir. We need different colored dice. Yes. Um, but yeah, we'll okay. Do the same thing here as well. Oh, these guys too? Yeah, same thing. All right. All right, so we'll do the uh, veteran. Veteran goes in. Yep. And fours for that. Two go in here. And force the wound. One goes through. And this guy goes down to one. No, he's dead. Oh, he's that, dead. That's his wound. Oh. This is why we need to cut dice. Yes. <laughs> this will change next week. Hopefully. Yeah, fine. 
Fine. Oh. What's the leadership? It's the gold ball over there. It's got leadership eight, I think. Okay, I forgot to mention that's the end of Dwarf turn three. Yes. We're moving on to Beastman turn four. Um, this is where I'm scared. Yeah. This is gonna, I, I have to charge. I basically have to do damage. So let me see what I can do. All right, so we've got turn four for the Beastman. Before anything, I do want to do a Gaze of the Gods. Or a free. Iron Skin. Oh, no. One modifier to toughness, which is going to go over here. All right, and what's going to happen here is charges, right? So these balls are going into those warriors. These lads are going into there. So you're going to be able to get a stand and shoot. Yep. These lads are going into there. Yep. And this guy is going into the um, thing. Yes. Hopter. Bomber. But you need to shoot me first. So please, shoot me. With pleasure. So since we already know this, is three for the vet. Yep. And then fours for the rest. And where's it once per phase? So I would be able to re-roll that, I think. All right, yeah, and we're getting a re-roll over in there, too. Uh, and now you've got strength four. I do not know the toughness on my gores. Four, wow, really? How ungored of you. I'm actually really surprised. Um, Two go through, one with armor pain. Uh, okay, I've got... For some reason, I thought the gores had um, my armor. Weird. But yeah, um, that's two dead. And now my charges. Yes. Cool. Going in with the balls. Yep. Going in with these lads. Yep. Going in with these guys. Yep. And I don't really think we need to roll for those. Double warn it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll be back. Yeah, uh, we just gonna move them in. All right, we just remembered that the gyro bomber isn't unbreakable, so we're gonna have to do a quick terror test. They're fine. Yeah. Okay, and whilst we're here, a fear test over here. They're fine. And a fear test over there. They're fine. Tightly packed. All right, so we got a bunch of stuff to do. I need to do primal fury tests now uh, because that's a thing. Okay, so I'm gonna do primal fury on. Well, basically everything that can do Primal Fury. The first thing is going to be this unit over here. Yep. Cool. Primal Fury. Actually, can Gores get Primal Fury? I imagine so. If so, yes, they can. Okay, they got it. Um, primal Fury on the Bulls. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, these are really good rolls. Uh, and can the Gorgon have it too? And the Gorgon can also roll for that too, which. Quite important. Yes, we're fine. Everyone has primal fury. Okay, I need to hit you. Oh, I have impact hits too. Yes. I'm just I'm just going to try and hit you as much as I can. Yes. Right? We're completely out of sync, but it works, you know. Yes. Da, 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 da. It's like a wave. Uh, we're gonna be having a little bit of fun here where we're gonna be doing some impact hits. So I have my Gorbal first, who has strength five, your toughness is. On your warriors. Yep. Uh, strength four. Toughness four. Sorry. So freeze. Freeze. Minus one. But I do also... Yes, minus two because of my banner being within six inches. Well, heavy armor and shield, so that puts me up to a six. Yeah, uh, yeah. Six ups now. Yep. One dice. One dice. Okay, cool. Uh, and now we're going to be doing the bulls there, who also has strength five. I didn't know that. So two free ups. One minus two, six up. Yep. Okay, so that's two. It's one. Yeah, but two in total. Oh, two total, yes. Yeah. All right, so two free ups. Minus two. On the hammers, yeah? Yeah. Just want to check if they haven't got any... The toughness... Toughness four, really? Yeah. Good I? Okay, and then with the Doom Ball itself, who has better strength, I have strength five now, you're tough... Uh, sorry, four. strength six now. So twos, right? Yeah. <coughs> hey, you can't uh, win them all. That was pathetic. <laughs> That's hilarious. When you see a big <laughs> monster who's really strong, and then it just, meh. He just falls on and trips himself up. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to get into combat now. 
Okay, so we're going to be attacking. There's the chat. Okay, so we're going to be attacking. Um, I've got my, this is my goal ball, by the way, who's got four attacks natural, then Blood Greed gives him plus two. And, uh, well, the, the Beastman Frenzy. And then an extra attack for an additional hand weapon. So that would be all these attacks, hitting on freeze, wounding on freeze, onto the warriors. Okay. Wounding on freeze. It's not great. Wounding on freeze, that's two. Two minus ones. So they have heavy armor and, and shield. shields. So, so now they're up to five. Yes. Two dead. Keep them there just for combat res. Over there. All right, now coming in with the champion and the banner bearer. I've got a lot of dice in because there's a lot of modifiers. And that is fours and freeze. Awful. Not too bad. Okay, that's a bit better. And freeze. You only dropped one. Five minus ones, please. So four ups? Yep. No, five ups. Is it five ups? Yeah, minus one. Heavy armor. Or shields? Yeah. Five. Five ups. Shields. Minus one. Oh, minus one. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, so you save two, free die. Yeah, we just did the math. Free dead. So I got uh, the math. Only his champion can hit me back. And I have slug skin, so it'll actually be minus one for you to hit. Lovely. Naturally, which is great. Um, yeah, we'll get your fame sorted. Yep. All right, so we've got the fame coming in. So freeze and fours. Okay, and fours to wood. It's really satisfying when it hits the resin, though. See? Yeah, that's it. But, um, oh, by the way, guys, uh, just to let you guys know, I know you guys were asking about a dice tray. Well, our friends at Cubicle 7 were really nice and have set one over. It's just taking a while to get here because from Ireland. But it's really, really nice of them. All right, we're going to do combat res. Uh, I... The five. the five, yeah. You... Impact hits don't count, do they? No. no. Okay, that's a shame. I wish I would have done seven. Um, you've done none. I've got a banner. Wait. You've yeah. got a banner. Yes. Um, you've got an extra banner. Yes. And you've got the extra banner uh, point because of your special banner. You lose by three. Wait. That's an extra rank. You lose by two. Oh. Now you're fine. Now you're fine. Okay, cool. Now we're going to be moving on to these lads, which, by the way, they get an extra strength bonus because they charge for more than three inches. You see? Three inches is enough. <laughs> <laughs> we almost forgot he gives two inches and I'm following up. It's kind of funny. Uh, obviously, we've been playing and this is like the first round of combat we've actually had. So naturally, we're going to forget. Okay, coming in onto the Thunderers with fours and fours. Really? Come on. Yeah. Oh. Uh, not bad. Yeah. Not bad at all. And fours can, again. Can you do it again, though? I hope. Yes, you can. Yeah, so that is five saves and a minus one. I don't know what you're wearing in terms of armor. Well, you can't ask me that. <laughs> You'd let me do it first. Good lord. <laughs> Heavy armor and shields. Really? Thunderous? Yes. Good lord. Uh, all right, so two five ups. How many five ups? Five five ups, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's four dead. All right, now we've got the Wargor going in, which is represented by Malagor over here. And uh, these are hitting on freeze. <laughs> Rerolling once, because I forgot to do this before. And then wounding on fours. Nailed it. Well, uh, you can hit me back with one dude. I'll do. I'll do. Just a little edit, uh, we just actually found out that he's got weapon skill 3, not weapon skill 4. I'm an idiot! But it's fine, um, because at the end of the day it's a learning process, and he can only really hit me back with one dude. So... Weapon skill 3. Versus my 5. So, 5, right? Probably. Roll and find out. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you hit. Yeah, I hit. And your strength? <laughs> my strength. I'm glad you asked. Is three. Versus my toughness of five. Definitely. 100% hits. Yeah, yeah of course. Um, Killing blow. Yeah, so I kill four. Yeah. <laughs> I have a, an extra banner over you. Yeah. You lose by five. Please roll. Can we roll? Yeah, there you go. Oh, you're fleeing. Yep. Uh, please find out how far you flee. Remember, it's a dice and then minus one. But you still have to roll the second dice. This got the lowest. Okay. Damn it! Four. Instead, and I'm going to pursue because, yeah, you're dead. They're dead? Yep. All right, so we've done a little bit of damage over there. We still have these areas to do, yeah. so we're going to jump in right here. So a little mistake on my part, which would have helped me out, but then again, still learning the Beastmen, literally first game. Um, yeah, I actually got rid of some of their weapon skill, and we're going to make use of that here. Oh, no. uh, I have a bunch of attacks at weapon skill 6. What's your weapon skill on your hammers? Uh, my weapon skill on the hammers is 5. It's now 4. Oh, sorry. Yes, it is 4. All right, so we're coming in here with 3s and 2s. 3s. And 2s. And I've got armor vein on these. So all of these, uh, this would be minus two, and then the rest of them at minus one because my banner is still in that location. So that's five minus ones. We don't count drop dice here, people. Four dead. Four dead. Your front rank is gone. Yep. So that means I've done five wounds, and I still have to hit you with the bulls. That's insane how one guy just did that. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I geared him up. Like, look, he's got loads and loads of items. And the main reason was I kind of wanted the meme list and I can't do anything else. Like, I've got no fast attacks. You got rid of the dogs, right? Um, I was thinking about bringing a cockatrice and <coughs> maybe it's, it's a thing. Say that three times as fast. And uh, I was thinking about bringing centigors too. But the problem is I really wanted the meme list and the people on Twitch were saying, oh, take a meme list. So meme list it is. All right, I'm coming in with bulls now with fours and threes, re-rolling ones, because I keep forgetting to do that. Oh, thank God I remembered to do that. All right, uh, whoops, that's a six, please. Ooh, that is five minus ones. So six ups. Mm, you kill four. Yep, that's the four rank gone, barring your king. You may hit me back with your king. So I've killed, what, eight? Yeah. Was it eight? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we've got the king over here. What's your weapon skill? My weapon skill is four, yours is? Seven. Minus one, because of my uh, special thingy. Threes. Yeah, so you're hitting me on threes. Two, two failed. Oh. And the wound's coming in. Your strength? Oh, I've rolled it. My strength is four. My toughness is four. For nothing. Okay. All right. Uh, eight wounds. Oh, the unit's gone. Yeah. It's just the king. Yeah, but still. Uh, you have leadership ten, right? Yeah. Yeah, so double ones. Really? Even for him? Yeah. If the unit's dead? Yeah. Ooh! Of course. And that means that you fall back in good order. Yes. So, yeah, I'm going to... Okay, and now we're moving on to combat over here where I am hitting on fours and then wounding on threes, re rolling ones to hit. Four. Okay, so that is five attacks going in and threes. Two. And there honest? was no sixes, right? No, no sixes. Okay. Yeah, uh, minus two AP. I don't think he's going to save. No. I think they do. Oh, they have full plate armor. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So uh, that is full plate is... They've got no shields, right? Ah. So full plate would be a four up. Yep. That means that you go up to six, six ups. 
Nope, three wounds. Three wounds, okay. And it's got one wound left. Oh, oh wow, that's very durable. I get to hit you back now. Pew, pew. <laughs> Weapon skill of four. Versus my four. So fours. Yeah. And my strength is four. Versus my toughness of six. I've got two attacks. So fours and sixes. One goes through. Oh, wow. Uh, no AP. Yeah, I don't know if I have. I have armor, yeah. Mm. So the, this loincloth does count. Yeah. I have D3 stomps. For free. If this thing kills it by stomping on a helicopter in the air. Strength six, toughness. Oh, toughness five. Base. Yeah. Oh my god. No AP though, right? Uh, no AP, no. So just three? Uh, four ups. He dies. He dies. It's a lovely model. All right, that's not too bad. Um, that sucks for me. I was actually hoping he'd survive. I know. Um, All right. On to dwarf turn four. On to dwarf turn four. I think it's four. Yes, it is four. All right, we're jumping into turn four for the dwarfs. We got some, well, one charge to go out. We have let some movement happen, mainly because it's not really going to affect the table. So, yeah, uh, over here, you need a four. Well, let's do the tarot test first. Oh, yes. Good job. Nah, that's fine. fine. All right, charge. Need a four. Ah, lovely. Yeah, you got the five in. So, in you go. Whack. Uh, when it comes to range, there's no range. All right, so we're going to be moving into combat now. Uh, I have to do Primal Fury tests, because apparently that's a thing every time combat starts. So, yeah, we're fine. They're not in combat. They are in combat. Oh, these guys aren't. Yeah, and I have to reroll. These aren't in combat. Yes, your king is there. No, my king is here. Oh, yeah, okay. They're, they're okay, then I rolled for nothing. These then boys. these guys. Yep. And finally this guy. Frenzy for you. Yes. Right. Okay, um, I'm hitting you first regardless. Yeah. All right, so we've got my Gorbal going into these warriors with threes and fours, re-rolling ones on the threes. Re-rolling these. But you love uh, when you still get that. And then fours to wood, right? Yep. Yeah, fours to wood. Uh, There's a cog dice though. Lovely. Three wounds and a minus one. And these guys have got minus one, so it's fives. No, fours. Heavy armor for shields. So fives. Nice. Because I know how to math. Three die. Yeah. And now I have to hit you with the uh, two bulls. I was wrong, by the way. The uh, ghoul bull actually has an extra strength, but it's fine. And <laughs> I keep forgetting it's the, uh, the, the layout of the print. But we've got... That, that's my fine printing work there, good sir. Oh, it's not very good. <coughs> uh, my weapon skill is four, so I'm hitting on fours, and then I've got strength five versus your toughness of four. So fours and threes. Yes. Rerolling ones. Uh, ooh. Yeah. That was lucky. All right, give me a second. Wounding on threes. No runs. So that is six minus ones, please, good sir. Ugh, let's have a look. Uh, oh, lordy lord. Four more dead. Four more dead. That's that rank gone. Yeah. And we've got the fame coming in with threes and fours. Yeah. Pretty good roll. Four's the wound. Yeah, two to go through. To go through. Any minuses? Nope. No minuses? No minuses. Ooh, okay. It just has um, a full play, you know, you just got a hand weapon. Okay, so that means I have to roll two six ups. Nothing. That's down to one. We will put it on the banner bearer. If I can reach it so far. Close, 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 close. And you got it. Push down. Right, we're going to jump into combat resolution straight in because it's just easier. So I've killed eight. Yep. You do not have an extra rank. You have an extra banner over yep. me. Yep. And that banner also gives you plus one combat resolution anyway. Yes. So you lose by six. 
<laughs> I'm actually hoping to lose this. Ten. Good. I am not choosing to re-roll. Just re-roll it. No, I'm getting out of combat one way or another. Re-roll it. No, I refuse to do it. Re-roll. Why? You coward. <laughs> For that, no, I'm taking it. <laughs> I'm taking it. All right, well, flee then. Whee! A two inch. One inch. <laughs> because you're a dwarf. Um, Good enough. Well, I'm going to chase after you, I guess. Yeah, do it. One inch. That's enough to kill me. That's your man. <laughs> Why? Yes. Wait, no. I just realized something. Wait, no. You won't be able to do it. You can pivot, you can do it, but you won't be able to charge me. I will be able to shoot you. Uh, I don't think I can reform after chasing you down. We're going to have to find out, actually. Okay, so we've had to do a quick check. It looks like after I charge in, I can also reform Mis if I do a... Uh, un Mistakes were made. Yeah. But we don't go back on them because, again, this is a learning experience. Yeah, no, no, it's a learning experience. It's the first time that we're both playing with these armies. And the fact is, this is season one. We said that this was going to happen. And the idea is we learn by doing. And I think that that's a good thing because if we can catch them live, we can talk about it, right? Uh-huh. I'm going to regret this so much. And the comments are just going to, yeah. Look, I did what must be done, all right? No, no, you, you could have literally just let it go. But anyways, I'm going to do a leadership check. Um, I'm going to reform and just look at the thunderers. They're going to shoot me, but I'd rather be prepared to charge them next turn. And then I'll do the exact same thing again so my iron drakes can finally kill them. Okay, so we're coming into combat over here. I've got one attack on my doom ball going into his king, which is on fours, re-rolling once. Ooh, yeah. And your toughness? Toughness on the king is five. Strength six. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and my so I have full plate and shield. Oh wow! Okay, so full plate is three, three ups. Yeah, three ups. Yeah, three ups plus yeah, three ups. Fine. Yeah, build okay. it. Uh, now you get to hit me with pleasure. So mean, man. All right, now the king who is back here is going to hit me back. Yep. And your strength? Four. Toughness five. One goes through. One goes through. Okay, D6. Cool. Four. Either way, it doesn't matter because it's only in one unit, and that means that you kill this guy with one wound. Ugh. Yeah, but we'll think of a combat rise here. Yeah. Yep, cool. Cool. Um, do multiple wounds count for one combat rise? Mm hmm. Do they? Yes. Oh. Well, uh,. I guess we're done, right? Yep. Um, so you've done four wounds? Yep. Uh, I have mana? Yep. I Oh no, I have to hit you with my other stuff. Wait. You can't hit me. No one's in base contact. Yes. You still fight at the front. Someone's still fighting. You killed one dude, the other guy fights. Yeah, but you already gone. You already fight. You already fight. No, I did one hit with my Doom Ball, who's over here. Okay, now I can actually hit with my Bloodkin over there. So that's the only one in base contact. It is uh, fours and fours. Do all the ones. And fours. Only two? Two. Uh, minus one armor save. I keep forgetting about that. Nailed it. Cool. Well, that sucks. That's good for me. Yeah. It's, 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 he's geared well, despite only having one run. Um, all right, well, that means you've done four wounds. Yep. I have a banner. Yep. I have a rank. Yep. That's it. I lose by two. Yep. Yeah, fine. Actually, no, we're not. Cool. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I guess I flee. Yeah, it's up, uh, up my natural leadership. Okay. Five. You'll try. Hmm? Can I even try? You can try. Okay. Was it roll 2d6, yeah? 2d6, take away uh, take away the lowest, and then minus one anyway. Yeah. You caught me. 
Hey. Pretty good. So they're all dead? Yeah, they're all good. Lovely. All right, so we're jumping into combat over here. Ow. Carry on. All right, so we're jumping into combat over here. I am hitting first. Uh, I've got weapon skill four. Your weapon skill on your... I think these guys are long beards. One. A oh, weapon skill four. Yeah, weapon skill, yeah. I was about to say it. Yeah, yeah, weapon skill of one. Yeah, they don't need it. Weapon skill of five. Okay. We're rolling once. Oof. Well done. And my strength is six. My toughness is four. So twos. All of them barring one. Minus two AP. So they have heavy armor and shields. Minus two AP. Yeah, so, so sixes. Sixes, yeah. Nope. Three day. Three day. Okay. Oop. That makes my life a little bit easier. And now you can hit me. Yes. I'm going to hit you with two guys. Yep. Dwarves coming in, so it's two guys, the champion and one dude. Yes, I am just I've gone blank, so soup. Here we go. Yeah, okay, here we go. So threes, okay, yep, and fours. Oh, sorry, little guy. One goes through, one goes through. Yep, uh, that would be it's AP minus two. Okay, no, nothing. Uh, I take a wound, I'm down to four. Oh, wait, I've got regen. Always worth a shot. Yes. So you've got, I've done three and you've done one. Yep. And I have D3 stomp attacks now. Yes. So D3. One. And on twos. Really? Now I get a six? <laughs> okay. Uh, just roll. Uh, no AP. No AP? Yeah. So fours? Okay. Um... <laughs> I think I'm winning this combat. Yeah, I think so, actually. I think so. Okay, you've done three wounds, actually. Yep. There we go. No, you did three wounds. I've done three wounds. You've done one. You've got a banner. Yep. Where's the two? Just put it, do it do by dice. Sometimes. Okay, we'll do it by dice. Okay. Now. Uh, you've got a rank. You've got an extra rank. And a banner. Yeah, we already have a banner. No. Yeah. Two ranks, one banner, yes. and one wound. Yeah. So I lose by one. For some reason, the camera and the microphone started going super weird with static and so on. I'm not sure if that was just the ghost of the Doom Ball that uh, <laughs> was coming back to haunt me. But yeah, I lost, I got pushed back, and Walter caught up with me. So yeah, I mean, that's not too bad. Moving on to Beastman turn five, I'm going to do the Gaze of the Gods table. So the five. Oh, now I get like permanent bonuses. Uh, plus one attack characteristic to my. Cool. Can't believe it. Now I get it. Uh, we back after the moment, I guess? Yeah, what I'm trying to figure out is what I'm able to do here. Because. Well, you can charge if you wanted to. Yeah, and I'm likely going to charge, actually, because it does make sense for me to smash into those guys and lock myself out of combat again. And I flee again. <laughs> I'm really going to flee. It makes sense, though. It makes sense. You can, I mean, if you want to. I mean, ten Helldrakes should be able to deal with this. Possibly. Uh, Especially after some fire from these guys as well. It makes sense. Right, well, give me a minute so I can think of what I can do. Yeah. And we'll go from there. Right, uh, so I've decided I'm going to charge in with my Gobble and my two lads into this uh, lad over here. Uh, I need a two. Yeah, That's more than a two. And you said you wanted to flee. Can you explain, that? Can you explain to the audience how fleeing works? So, yeah, you, that's your charge reaction. You flee, you roll a dice, and you get the hell out of dodge, essentially. Um, you'll have to run between your troops, which will give them a little bit of a panic, but Mind you, their leadership is quite high. Um, well, if I catch you, you die, though. On, you, on 2d6? 2d6. Take away the lowest. Five, so it's five. Five, uh, so four. Uh, find out where you go. Because you'll pop through them if it's four yeah. and four. Yeah, so there we go here. Ooh, yeah. sugar. Uh, you've got to turn him around because to represent that he's playing. Yep. Yeah. I can redirect the charge. Wait, what? Yeah. 
So I don't think I can get into that, uh, but we'll see. All right, so as far as I understand, right, because I didn't want to charge into the character, um, I just charge as normal. He's got two panic tests to do. So first up on the cannon. Cannon, release of mine. He's all right. And then the iron breakers, drakes. Nine, they're all right. Okay. Heavy stuff. I know that I'm pretty much lost here. Uh, I'm very much certain on that. So I'm going to be realistic about it, because um, this is what, turn five for me? Yeah. There's not much that can be done here, um, and it is getting super late. Yeah. <laughs> As you can tell by me sitting down constantly, it's been a long day, and yeah. we're getting quite tired. Here. Max actually does have a disability, so like at certain points, he needs to... You keep calling me Max, not Walter, but hey -ho. It's the same thing. I've been calling you Max since you were 16. I don't know why, though. But, hey. Ugh. So, yeah. But yeah, I think um, to be fair, next turn you're going to destroy that. Yeah. Uh, because the cannon is literally just going to bounce right through. It wouldn't bounce. No, it does bounce. That's it's what monstrous. you're. No, no, but it would still bounce. For these guys, I think it would still bounce. Okay. But um, then all of this. Yeah, all of those. There's not much I can he do. He clearly is a very angry man. Yeah, like I, I would have to push him forward to get the hell out of the way. And even then, making rendering them useless here, it's like that. Honestly, I think this was pretty good from a learning experience. This was quite good. So, good game. Uh, wrong head, but there we go. Awkward left handed shake. Yes. And we'll see you guys in the outro. See you in the outro. All right. So, yeah. Uh, win for the dwarves. Honestly, um, victory for the dwarves. <laughs> uh, meme list works. I think I should tailor the. The beastmen a little bit better, mm. uh, but it, it's been a while. One that was anyone's game. Yeah, from the first two turns, it looked like yours. It definitely looked like yours. Like you, I had fear. <laughs> the amount of damage these guys do is ridiculous. Mm. And then this boy, yeah, right here. It's that rune that really helped, <laughs> and it's Belagar as well. The models, but how amazing is that? Well, um, to be honest. I need to. I know this can work for the beastmen. It just needs to be tailored a little bit. Dwarfs are fine. Dwarfs are fine. And the thing is, like, this is like a tenth of the dwarfs that I have. So there is a lot to play with. <laughs> Whereas beastmen, I'm still kind of painting up stuff. Yeah. But overall, I mean, this was the first game with both. Yeah. So uh, I'm surprised that we did so well in terms of not stressing, I guess. <laughs> We're usually pulling our hair out here, the great bucket crushes. Yeah. <laughs> but. Yeah, I'm happy. Um, Honestly, good game. Uh, good game. It was that was a lot of fun. There were probably going to be some mistakes here and there. Yeah, this is still a learning curve for the both of us. Yeah, we're going to make mistakes, but also that adds to the fun as well. Yeah, it, it's one of those things. Uh, and I will tell you guys, the plan right now, because obviously I am busy with fixing this, mm. is we're going to do a little bit of rotation with the six armies that we currently have. There will be a seventh popping in soon, mm -hmm. and then a few others that I've got sorted out. Because remember, these are all from my collection. I am um, not relying on people like lending me armies and so on, so I have to rebase basically everything that I've been building up since I was 10. Yeah. Well, four. But um, yeah, it's, it's a process. Uh, once we get to seven armies, we'll do rotating for a little bit, and then we'll work on the next seven. Because while there is 16 armies officially... There's actually like 21 when you start dividing the demons and the Warriors of Chaos yeah. into their respective model gods. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a lot to talk mm. about. Uh, there'll be more in the FAQ mm. section after this video. What would you, you say is your, was your favorite part of this game? Um, <laughs> I have quite like seeing the Beastmen kill stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually fairly surprised. There's a few things I need to get kind of used to them, but they, they did a lot more. Yeah. And it's just a case of learning them a little bit better. Yes. Yeah. Right. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. A good one. Doodles. We decided to call it there for a number of reasons. First up, I mean, the Beastmen were pretty much gone and the battle would have been lost uh, pretty much there. You know, with turn five, it's very hard to get in combat. And yeah, with the fleeing tactics of the Dwarves, it was quite interesting. That being said, it was super late at this point because we could only film this on a Friday and obviously these videos come out on a Sunday. So by the time I got home, it was 2 a.m. I had to start sorting this out on Saturday. There was just like no time. Normally we film well in advance and the next one is actually going to be filmed well in advance anyway. But schedule conflicts came into play, which 
yeah, you know, can't be helped. Other than that, I mean, I kind of like the Beastmen. I feel like the two mistakes I made, especially fleeing, was probably my downfall. <laughs> but at that point, I was just really tired anyway, and it was also due to the fact that a lot of work has been done in the studio, which, yeah, it takes a lot out of me physically. But we're getting there, stuff is moving on. The mats arrived, the new ones. Unfortunately, they were damaged, so they're getting replaced. That might be another week or two until something happens, I do apologize for that. But, again, really, it's just the post office's issue. In terms of armies, one more new army is going to be showcased. It's another demon army because it's done and ready to go. Well, barring some bases that I need to arrive soon because I misread the base sizes. And after that, we'll go into rotation for just about a week or two. That will allow me also some time to finish up some stuff that I want to do for the Bretonians, for the Tomb Kings and so on. But also focus on the other armies that I want to bring in for like the second wave of the battle reports for season one. Which, if everything goes as planned, we'll see Warriors of Chaos of Sunesh, my gilded host, finally. Lizardmen is an army that I just really want to paint up. I've actually just sorted out about 100 Saurus in terms of priming and building. The vampire counts are almost ready. I think I just have to sort out characters and they are actually good to go. And then after which I'm going to focus on my orcs, my empire and likely my wood elves. As I've got a bunch of trees done, I just need to sort out elves, really. Just elves. But yeah. So far, so good. I'm happy with how things are progressing. Studio is going to look better in a number of weeks, I think. So it's all a matter of time. But with all that being said, guys, have a lovely day. I'll see you all again very, very soon. Have a good weekend. We're back on it on Monday.